probate property that we've uh, had from the empty homes officer because it's been empty for three or four years then we've been able to get it through that uh, that way instead of just the normal um, put it on the market and find it so come and have a look inside this one it's an absolute brilliant shell and uh, i'm going to take you right the way through this tardis so let's have a little look at this room first this is going to be bedroom one and again nice big space uh, you can see the windows none of these are double glazed so we're going to have to replace all of these windows and here in this little box here are the gas meter and so on now you can't have a gas meter in the bedroom so that is going to have to be transferred to the other side of this wall so that the meters can be read if you look on this wall there's a fireplace we'll just be getting rid of that blocking it up this electric fire we don't need that and making sure that the plumbing system and everything works okay so this is bedroom one let's have a look because there's quite a few bedrooms here on the ground floor there's another one here this is quite nice light uh, room nice size you can see that uh, the radiator is leaking so we've fixed that one um, there's a variety of trees growing up and through the walls here and up and out through the ceiling um, so you can see a little bit into the back garden there, a bit of clearance to do, but this is a nice size room. You can see that fireplace has already been blocked up, we'll be just doing that properly and tidily so it looks, looks pretty good. Let's have a little look at this gap in the wall here. What we're seeing here are the roots of, of the tree that's coming through the wall. So what we can do is bring this across the back, you can see that it's bulging up here, this is all coming off, this just comes off bits of plasterboard and you can see the roots coming through here. What we're going to have to do with this part is make sure that this is all cleared down and on the other side make sure the pointing is correct again. Let's go and have a look at what happens as we go down the corridor. It's nice and purple in here, I like purple. So if you come through here into this room is going to be the lounge. The reason again here is the lounge, it goes through we can't put a corridor off so it can be used as a separate room, but it makes a nice lounge space for people living here. Again, one of these houses with a very interesting radiator, you can see it's uh, attached here to the gas central heating. So we'll have an investigate, see what that's doing. And this house keeps going, just goes on and on. So come and have a look in the kitchen. This is the back door out to the garden and so on. You can see there's been a kitchen here. We won't use any of these units. These will all go in the clearance um, and the lovely stickers as well as those from Christmas. Um, but this has been empty for some years now and the neighbours know that. So just even coming in here and talking to the neighbours next door, next door on the other side, make sure they know we're going to be working on it. Probably eight, eight weeks from now, six to eight weeks from now, we'll have this up and running and being tenanted. Let's go and have a look what's through here. Because out of the back of the kitchen, we have actually two bathrooms, or at least two toilet rooms. They're not in a very good state, so beware. That's one little toilet room that's separate. And then in here, we've got a, a bathroom. We'll just revamp this, make it to a nice bathroom, and that's out to the back garden through there. Toilet, sink, bath, very easy to replace. And we'll probably put a shower room in here as well, so a shower unit. So it's very basic right now. We can rectify that, and we can make it into a nice bathroom. That's out of the back of the kitchen. But you can see that this house just goes on and on. I just want to show you what's going on over here. You can see that the plasterboard is bulging here. I'm going to again knock it down and show you. It's just plasterboard. If you look over here, you can see the efflorescence on the walls, and that's coming down here as well. There's even more of it upstairs. There's quite a lot of damp in this property, so damp, of course, will have to go throughout. You can see that something's happened, it's been replastered because this is some Artex on here. Um, and this has gone through to straight plaster. This office had a problem before. Like I said, this is the corner of the house where there's a tree growing up. So all this just comes straight down, and you can see the RS, excuse me, the RSJ underneath there that supports the house, and uh, it just needs pulling back, stripping back, replastering, and it'll be as good as new when we're finished with it. Let's go look upstairs. now and again we're showing the efflorescence that's on the wall here that is really going to have to be brought right the way back to the brick you can see here where it started to bubble the plasterboard is creaking and so on and falling off I like to press holes in the walls it makes me feel good so you can see all the bubbling and plaster there um, it's very soft 
and that'll all just come through. And look at the lovely swirly carpets. This shows you that it's very old fashioned and it's been here for a long time. Come into this bedroom, which has got the boiler in this cupboard at the moment. We'll be changing all the boilers and everything. And uh, this really just has been a bit of a hodgepodge. Um, and you can see out onto the roof from here. So the roof here, uh, you can see it's a flat roof. So we'll be making sure that there's no leaks and so on in that. There are some bulges on the top where it's got moss growing, so we will just recover that with uh, fresh asphalt and uh, basically make sure that it's good. If you look out here, you can actually see on this wall, they've tried to put the plaster on the outside of the wall to skim it. it hasn't done a very good job, so the chances are, while we're doing the plastering, we'll just skim over that and render it much as we will on the front. So come through here, this is actually one of the lowest ceilings in the house, because there's actually quite tall ceilings here in this house. So follow me down. To the back of the house where we've got even more bedrooms this is going to be another six bed property it's actually the second loft hatch you can see up through there and then here into yet another bedroom so nice large room again that's very unusual to have the windows going right the way down here we're going to have to replace them all in fact i think that's pretty much the only pvc window in the place um, we're going to be replacing 10 windows and two doors front and back so again, lovely swirly carpet, one of these old fashioned cupboards and so on that are quite often in a property. Chances are we'll probably pull that out unless uh, it's so solid to the wall because the back really needs skimming and so on. So the easiest thing really is just to pull that out. Sometimes we keep them, but I think in this one we'll probably just uh, make that into an alcove for wardrobe and so on. There's another room over here. In fact, there's two more rooms in this property. Let's have a little look in the small room first. This is little, let's face it. It is big enough to be a single room, and because of this room and others that are small, we will have to have a lounge as well separately. That's HMO regulations for you. So this one looks out onto the street, and uh, it's enough space for somebody to have a single room. Now this is really right next to town, and if people can't afford the higher rates for the rooms and the ensuite rooms, this might be ideal for them because people want a room, they want to be really near town, but sometimes affording the room rates is quite difficult. Let's go and have a look at the real big room at the front here. So this room over here, again, has got some lovely black uh, mould coming along on the wall here. It's all to do with damp, all to do with the, um, you know, you can see there's some compromise here in the ceiling. I like my holes in the ceiling. If you want to find one in this house, this is where the hole is. So we're going to have to pull all that plasterboard down Typically, when you've got Artex ceiling like this, they're fine, you just paint over them. Sometimes, if they're very, very old, then they do have um, asbestos in them, so you then have to be very careful and get them treated and taken away properly. Now, they pulled the carpet back in this room because there's a floorboard problem. Now, I can see straight away, and I'm sure you can too, what the floorboard problem is, this overlaps. I don't know what they were thinking. I was standing on this yesterday, but it's underneath the carpet, I'm going, about, I don't know, there's even cloth wrapped around there, but they just shoved something in there. Clearly that doesn't work, but that's easy to remove, isn't it? It's very easy to remove floor panels here so that we can get in it to make electrics better and just to flatten it out. So um, put their little rig back in there and see what's going on. So there we go. So this is the very big bedroom um, in this house. There's more downstairs. This is going to be bedroom six. Lots of great rooms for our rental. I just want to show you over here because we've got some cracks in the walls and this can cause some concern when you're looking around properties. There's no right or wrong answer here, but a rule of thumb is if you can see a crack coming down the wall like this, it's making some movement. It looks as though the plaster has split. It's a nice smooth line, doesn't matter what direction it's going in. The chances are it's where the plaster has become dried out and has cracked. If you see that the crack is following the line of the bricks in a staircase-like manner, that's where you've got issues where it potentially um, needs underpinning because the back end is falling off or the front is movement in a, in a very um, parting way, whereas this is, tends to be to do with plasterboarding and that can be re-plastered uh, or filled and plastered without too much problem. Particularly on the outside where you see pointing problems, this pointing is compromised in a straight line, then that just gets filled in. But if it goes down in a staircase-like manner, 
Further investigations need to be made so that you can check whether it needs underpinning or not.